Hey everyone, welcome to my channel, Tiny and Tidy. I'm Vishali and I am determined to motivate you to get your messy, disorganized space nice and tidy. I was inspired to do today's video for two reasons. The first one being that one of my Instagram followers requested it. And the second reason is because my freezer was a disaster. I have been trying to organize my freezer for years now. I actually found this photo that I had posted on Facebook from 2012, which was my first attempt at organizing the freezer where I was living at the time. Needless to say, that system didn't work very well for me and I continued to try other methods for years. I've tried categorizing, using containers, baskets, um, I tried mason jars, so that was another disaster. Um, I've searched all over Pinterest, blogs, Instagram, just to try to find a solution that would work for my family and I, but just couldn't find a system that looked neat and remained that way until recently. I've tested out the system for a few months now and it's working really well. I can't guarantee that it's the best way to organize your freezer, but so far I'm happy with it. All right, so let's get into this freezer organization solution I finally found. I came across these reusable silicone freezer bags online and decided to try them out. At first I only bought a few to make sure I liked them. I was happy with them so then I decided to purchase more. I've linked them in the description box down below. Alright so once I had what I needed it was time to get started. Step 1. Empty the freezer. The first thing you'll have to do is empty your freezer and clean it all out. You'll have to work fast because you don't want to leave all of these items out of the freezer for too long. You can also work in sections to avoid having food out of the freezer or if you have space in your fridge you could also move the items there while you clean out the freezer. Step 2 is purge. As you empty out your freezer, make sure you're purging anything you don't plan on using in the near future. If it's old, if you can't even recognize what it is, it's got to go. Step 3 is clean. Now it's time to clean your freezer. Depending on how bad it is, you may need to vacuum it, perhaps scrub it with some dish soap and then just wipe it all down. Step 4, decant. If you've been following me for a while, you know I like to decant anything and everything. I can't stand all of the colors on packaging and I find it creates so much visual clutter, only making spaces look messier. Decanting is a bit of a process, but I think it's totally worth the effort. In this case, it was definitely space saving and everything fit nicely because the reusable Ziplocs that I used weren't bulky and they were all uniform in size. I also really liked how neat my freezer looked once all of that random packaging was removed. Labeling was one of the problems I came across with these reusable Ziploc bags. A chalk marker, a wet or dry erase marker wouldn't work because that would just wipe off from the moisture in the freezer. A permanent marker wouldn't be a good idea because I don't always have the same items in my freezer and I wanted to easily be able to use the bags for other items. I tried masking tape and freezer tape, but that kept peeling off after a couple days. Then one day I came up with this idea which has been working very well for us. I write what's in the bag on a wooden clothes peg with a permanent marker and clip it to the bag. I keep the clothes pegs in a jar in the kitchen cabinet when they're not in use and I just reuse them when I need them. I also keep blank ones in the jar in case I need to create a new label. The bags are translucent so you can kind of see what's inside, but having the clothes peg label makes it a lot easier to find what you need. Step 6. Categorize As you put the food back in the freezer, try to keep like items together. I used these containers that I already own to help categorize the items. I had purchased them from the dollar store. I tried to keep all of the veggies together, all of the fruits, the meats, the seafood, etc. Some items like bread or ice cream can't be decanted, but I was able to decant most of the items in my freezer. If you haven't seen my fridge organization video yet, I suggest you check that one out too. I shared a lot of useful tips in that video that will help you get your fridge more organized. If you like the tips I shared in this video, hit that like button so that all know that you want to see more videos like this one. Also, follow me on Facebook and Instagram because that's where I share daily tips and tricks all about organization, saving time, and simplifying your life. 
Next week, I'm gonna be showing you how I created a mudroom in our tiny space. And if you're new here, we're a family of five living in an 850 square foot condo. So we definitely don't have the space for a traditional mudroom. So be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified when that video is posted. I've been told by many of my followers that when it comes to organizing, they simply don't know where to start. They're overwhelmed and just can't find the time to do it. Well, I'm working on a program called Clear the Clutter that will help you get organized step by step. If you're interested in learning how to organize your entire home, implement organization systems that actually work, learn how to meal plan, create a detailed home maintenance and cleaning schedule, then sign up on the wait list for my Clear the Clutter program. The link is in the description box down below. Once the program launches, you will be notified and provided with more information. Don't forget to hit that like button and share this video with someone that you know would find it useful. And if you like this video, be sure to check out one of these ones. They're full of tips and tricks that will help you get more organized. As always, thanks for watching guys and happy tidying. Bye.